Hello, this is Denver Riddle and your host from Color Grading Central. In a continuation of our looks building, we're going to talk about how we can suggest different times of the day using the color board in Final Cut Pro 10. The different times of day we'll be simulating is golden hour, which can either be right after sunrise or just before sundown, simulating midday, simulating evening just after sundown, and performing a simple day for night correction. Now, just a quick background on color temperature as it will inform us on how to perform our corrections. In this image, courtesy of MediaCollege.com, it shows the range of color temperatures from the warmest candlelight to the coolest north light or blue sky. In the warm areas, you'll see where sunrise is around 2000 K, noonday around 5000 K, and overcast daylight at 7000 K. Because color temperature is the color of the light, and since light affects the highlights the most, down to the shadows in a descending order, we'll make corrections in the highlights and adjust them accordingly to match this chart. Let's do some color grading. Let's first start with the golden hour, as this one is my favorite. You'll be familiar with this clip as we've used it in previous tutorials, and it will be an excellent example in simulating the time of day. Just after sunrise and just before sunset, the sun projects warm yellow rays. So the way that we'll match this color temperature is we'll push warm colors into the highlights. And in case it makes our skin tones in the midtones too yellow, we'll counter this highlight adjustment by pushing the midtones puck in the exact opposite direction directly below our highlight puck. Then we'll just finesse the two of these until we've met our objective of simulating golden hour and kept our skin tones clean. I mean it's okay if our skin tones are a little warm, we just don't want too much so that the shot can sell itself. There's also not a very large dynamic range during magic hour and so we'll leave our exposure settings alone. Coming over to the parameters tab, here's a quick before and after. Pretty cool. Now we'll reset this and we'll move on to simulating midday. During the middle of the day, our highlights should bounce equally or be white. If it's cloudy or the shot took place in the shade, then the color of the light would be much cooler and that would be a different thing. But for now, you can see that the highlights are balanced. So there's no changes here that we'll make to the colors other than we'll increase the contrast a little bit, giving the shot a high key look since there's a high dynamic range during the middle of the day. Here's a quick before and after. Pretty simple. For our evening simulation, which is after sunset, the color temperature is really cool now that the sun has gone down and our main light source now happens to be the blue sky. So we'll make our highlights really cool. And just like we did with our magic hour correction, so that our skin tones don't become too cool, We'll counter this adjustment with a mid-tones adjustment directly below and to the negative of our highlight correction. For our exposure in the exposure tab, we'll bring our mid-tones down a little bit. We'll also try to keep our dynamic range in the highlights. And that's it. Here's the before and after. That's pretty darn convincing. Okay, on to our final one, day for night. Day for night is the most complex of the simulations and we won't be covering all of the techniques to create a good day for night, but I'll show you one that's good enough. Picking right where we left off with the evening simulation, we'll push even more blue into the highlights and this time we're not worried if the skin tones look too blue as day for night is more of an extreme look. We'll finish by doing some tweaking to the contrast by lowering the exposure. We'll lower the saturation a little bit. And voila, we have a pretty convincing day for night. We won't be able to get it perfect, but it should be close enough. Depending on the circumstances, it may make sense to shoot during the day and later grade for night in post. A perfect example of this is the Coen Brothers True Grit, where this was a technique that was used. I hope that you found this tutorial, as well as all of my other color grading tutorials, helpful. If you have any questions, 
please ask in the comments section below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.